actually, before I go onto this little weeds, uh, if you go to my blog, you see, if you go to my blog, there is a uh, article called "Visualizing SQL Plans with Flame Graphs." So, um, um, uh, so flame graphs, and you know, like I have a little a proof of concept script. It needs some tweaking. You, you got to look inside it, but uh, but uh, it and, and it doesn't use SQL monitoring right now. But this illustrates that it is you know how the execution plan is a tree and how layers or nodes or branches in this tree get executed or traversed through, and these are leaves and so on. So it's a you know if you want to like um this is not just a nice chart. It actually is useful for very very big plans. And once you take the time to read through this and understand it, you'll have much better understanding of what an execution plan really is, right? And how you can read this is, uh, is um, that it's also like a timeline in a sense, but how wide this is, the width of this a bar here, execution plan line, that's how, how long time it was, uh, how long time ago it, it, it sort of was entered and the child in it was executed and so on. It's not exactly the same same thing as a timeline. So you read the blog entry, it's a very pretty long one. But how you basically can read it is that, uh, you know, uh, you can look into top lines. So there is a hash join here who doesn't have any, any children on top of it. So therefore, this amount of time 170 seconds or whatever, this amount of time here, this was spent inside this hash join. So I can actually uh, open this up and, uh, so this is a, this is the example. So there is a hash join and, it, it, and why I built this or why I started experimenting with this was exactly that, uh, because sometimes you have like way too big, big execution plans and you have to scroll around too, too much. And sometimes you get lucky, you see like 66% of time spent here, line number 10, hash join. You know, so this is the one, right? 66% of time is spent here, line number 10, hash join, right? That's what it is. So this hash join doesn't have any children on, you know, on top of it. So therefore that was the leaf, of, or that was the operation that, that itself used the time. So there's so much, it accounts for so much time. You see, that's why you see that here, right? But you see the hash join under it, the hash join 11 has child operators who also use time. So 11 itself used 7% of time, but one of its children used 14. So you see hash join 11 itself Oops. Um, um, oh, sorry. So, so hash join 11 itself used some time. So that's that's the 7% of what it used, but one of its children used 14%. So that's this block, right? So you can see the topology of, of the runtime from here as well, right? And how wide something is kind of tells you how much time like uh, was spent in it. And the top line is directly how much time is spent in this 18 or 20 here or or 10, you know, this uh, this amount, what's not covered by something else. But anything below here, it's like, um, it's like um, uh, what, whatever is uh, um, like indirectly spent. So we spent time in this, well, we were under the hash group by, but we were not spending time inside the hash group by because all of it's with, with, is covered by child operators. And it becomes more useful when you have more complex plans. So I haven't made it like easily usable. You can look inside the script, you need to kind of uh, download another script for that. But you see there are some uh, more complex examples. So it's, uh, I'm gonna work more on it and make it easy, easy to use someday. So, all right, so that's, that's it about this um, simpler parts of my talk. I'll, I'll, uh, before I do a Q and A, then I'll uh, I'll show you the, just one more last time thing as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth uh, worth yeah worth talking about too much. But uh, uh, 
it's actually, you know, if you want to research more, it's actually possible to enable tracing for this component. You know, uh, again, go to my blog, you, you see how this tracing works, uh, but it's possible to uh, trace SQL monitor activities. And uh, if you, um, there is a, if you go to my videos, if you wanna get some, if you see, if you wanna see really complex stuff about Oracle internals, uh, look into the Oracle X dollar trace and uh, weight event internals and so on, right? So um, in my videos page, I explain how the X dollar trace works and so on, but, uh, but basically, um, Let me just run something with monitoring select. Um, just run something with SQL monitoring and uh, I can now list from X dollar trace what kind of uh, SQL monitoring related uh, actions were done, you know, by, you know, by that session, right? And um, so there are, so basically if you want to geek out, go deeper, uh, <laughs> research, how SQL monitoring works. You see, this is uh, where we push plan monitoring and then uh, push push monitoring, right? So this is uh, uh, this populates updates v dollar v dollar uh, SQL monitor and this updates v dollar SQL plan monitor, right? And uh, you would even see some. Uh, so this is now execution level. This is not plan line level, unfortunately, but you see CPU buffer gets, uh, you know, reads and then read bytes and so on. So how this is, so it's, it's possible to trace some of this activity as well. So I'm not going to talk more about, about that because um, we are over time and that's for hardcore geeks. So <laughs> uh, some of you are these hardcore geeks. Uh, and so and I'll, I'll let, finish with one more one last thing. Uh, so um, if you look into here, like obviously, like again, like these things bother me. If I see a nice icon somewhere with like binoculars, I want to know where these numbers come from, right? So execution plan line level numbers, like, you know, how, how much memory we used for uh, for uh, the left side of a join in memory and has join related kind of metrics. So you don't even need to use hash join tracing anymore. And, um, but um, where does this come from? There is another view called VTOL or SQL monitor stat name. And if I look into help, well, I haven't actually documented it yet, but in VTOL or SQL monitor, monitoring stat name, I have a SQL mon SN script. This actually lists all the possible um, statistics that can be shown behind these binoculars, right? And you can actually query them yourself as well um, with some with some magic, right? Uh, with some extra, extra, you know, look into the script. You can actually link it to the SQL monitoring data as well. Like a lot of hash join related things. Um, and uh, and also like exadata, storage index, uh, flash cache metrics, and so on. In memory, um, uh, the temporary tables and, uh, and so on. So, all right. So, uh, let's go, let's do some questions. So by the way, this is a time to say that again, like, you know, part of the reason why I do these hacking sessions here is for fun. Part of the reason is just to, you know, give more information to people, which they might not find easily. And part of that is I also promote my business as well. I'm actually doing a SQL tuning five day class online in June, right? So um, if you wanna be able to systematically tune complex SQLs and even deal with optimizer bugs and so on, then this is the class for you.